morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's New York's number one truck driver. I'm back out here, aka New York City King. Look at over here, look at that. World Trade Center One right there. It's World Trade Center One right there. So that's Manhattan over there. So I'm back in back in business again out here trying to get to Brooklyn for you drivers be safe out there you know burn, burn rubber not your soul so yeah there's another one of these mornings there's a beautiful Manhattan over there it's a beautiful day As everybody can see, I'm doing what I do. I'm stuck in traffic. So, uh, you gotta have patience out here again. Um, having one of those days that are just all traffic. <clears throat> and then, you know, I'm a little tired or whatever. I need couldn't sleep last night so I took like a, a sleeping pill to sleep and now I'm kind of still even with the coffee I'm still kind of drowsy but I gotta give me a breakfast sandwich or something I need some energy so um the mornings are getting really cold here in New York it's not like uh summer's ending and it's getting really cold so I gotta dress warm in the morning, but then it gets, I think it was 40 something degrees this morning, and then it's supposed to be up to 70. So, <clears throat> us truck drivers don't like to be sick. We don't like to be sick at all, so we gotta make sure we dress accordingly. That's the worst thing in the world is to do is drive and not feel well. Especially when you got a, uh, you got bills, you know what I'm saying? Little bills or big bills. So, uh, like I said, this occupation ain't for everybody. It's like, you know, one of my uh, subscribers reached out to me and she says, yo, I'm, I'm anti-social too. Yeah. Yeah, I understand one thing, yo. This right here, when you drive a truck alone all the time, you're not around a lot of people. It's not like us truck drivers want to be anti-social. It's just the occupation that we have. So, uh, basically, when we get home, we need our rest. You know, you sit in this sort of traffic all day long, and you're driving all day long. When you get home, you want your rest and your peace. You know, I got these wild-ass racist neighbors. I can't even get any rest. They're like, oh... He's not a good neighbor. I said, listen, I don't need to be, I need to get my sleep. You know, they, they monitor me like, like, uh, it's crazy. It's really crazy how racism is just rapid. Even where you live at, so, uh, I try to avoid these sort of people that try to, uh, make me depressed put me down but um this has been going on for so long with these people it's just it's ridiculous I mean they, they, they're the poster children for lunatics you know if you want to see what they look like just look on my channel poster children for lunatics I didn't want to get into this this morning you know what I'm saying it's just that they got court tomorrow. And uh, I gotta go to court to make sure that they get, get their, their just desserts because, you know, uh, harassing an innocent person just because they're black is not right. You can't think that all black people are ignorant and stupid. You know, you happen to pick one very educated, smart one. And, uh, they, uh, 
I got to go to court. I got to pay lawyers. I got to do all of this, you know. I don't bother these people. All I ask to be is left alone. This is how truck drivers are. We just want to be, some of us just want to be left alone. I don't want to be neighborly. I don't want to come over to your house. I don't want no sugar from you. I don't want to go to your barbecue. I just want to be left alone. I need my rest. I need my peace. I got enough friends. I got, I got three friends. Me, myself, and I. Okay? You can't trust nobody in this world. Everybody is out to either put you down or to talk about you and spread rumors. You know, these people go around and spread untruth rumors about me all the time. I'm not even home all the time. You know, I'm not even out there like that, but hey. You know, hate, hate sometimes is, is born into people from racist families from generation to generation. You know? For me, I'm, com I'm colorblind. I like everybody, you know, green, black, white, Puerto Rican, I think, whatever the hell it is. People are people, man, but you can't really trust nobody, yo, because there are jealous people always. Jealous people always, yo. And a lot of us truck drivers go through the same mess that I'm going through. You know, you, you're out on the road a lot, you come home, and the neighbors and try to take over your backyard or spread rumors about you, you know what I'm saying? This is where I don't want to be. This right here. This is where I don't want to be. And this is where a lot of white people, Karens and people like that, want to put people, you know how many bait traps these people have set up for me to get locked up? But they the ones who may go to jail soon? You know, that's for somebody who's very smart, you know, because you know, it backfires on you. You know, you got to do to them what they do to you. Okay. Do to them what they do to you. Let them see how it feels. Let them see how it feels to be the, the defendant. Let them see how it feels to have to pay for a lawyer. Let them see how it feels to feel embarrassed. Right. A black man got two white people in court. They just don't get it, you know. They don't understand what the word means, leave me alone, you know. They kept coming around my house. I can't even barbecue at my house. One time I was barbecuing, some hamburger and stuff. These psychopaths ran out their house, ran across my backyard, which they believe is their yard. But it's mine. They have a deck in their yard. They, they, they want it all. So, um, it's my yard. I cut the grass in it. I, they looked at my grill and said, oh, he's cooking hamburgers. I look, I'm on the phone with somebody. I'm looking at these lunatics, man. Oh, he's burning down our house. He's burning down your house, man. Just leave me alone with this, 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 this stuff. So this driving right here is good therapy because I'm just out here doing my thing, you know. I'm getting a... Uh, Paid for doing an occupation that I like. You know. And, and it really it really sucks when you are living in somebody's brain every day. You know, living in somebody's brain every day. And, uh, you know, I've been called all kind of names by these people. I mean. And, and, and it'd be so easy enough for me to really hurt these people. But I choose not to, man, because ignorance feeds off the ignorance, and I refuse to be ignorant like these people are. You know, and as you can see, we're downtown Brooklyn here. We started, we started a little late today. But uh, if any of you guys are going through it, just hold your cool, man. And I know truck drivers, we could be wild, man. We could be very aggressive and angry. Because when we do lash out, it could be really bad for these people, yo. We have so much fire inside of us, like being truck drivers. Uh, when we lash out, it, it could be ugly. So, uh, thank God for uh, anger management and me just being a, a cool dude. So... So I'm just venting with, you know, you guys out there if you're driving and you need 
going through what I'm going through. So anyway, love, peace, and respect for everybody. Uh, all my fellow drivers, all my new CDL drivers, and, and all the veteran drivers out there. You know, be safe. And blessings to all. Um, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. I would appreciate it. Thank you. New York's number one truck driver out, a.k.a. NYC King. <laughs>